Hello, I need to mark out a circular arc, but I don't know the radius and I haven't got the centre point. Hmm. Welcome to Workshop Essentials. I'm making a back panel for a desk and I want to cut out for cables. You need to be able to get your hand through with a plug and cables and stuff like that. So I want a circular arc, or an arc of some kind, down here at the bottom of the modesty panel. Now the traditional way for doing circular arcs, of course, is with a pair of compasses. This is my old pair from school, and they're still as good as the day that I bought them, actually 50-something years ago. <laughs> uh, if they're not big enough, then the other way of doing it could be a trammel bar like this, a trammel gauge. It's got a needle point and a pencil and you can swing an arc that way. And if that's not big enough, then you need a, um, a trammel and a pair of trammel heads. So this trammel bar here can be as long as you like. And there's a needle on one head and a pencil on the other. And you can swing huge arcs like this. You could do a dining table. But the problem with all these is that you require access to the centre of the circle. And the centre of my circle is somewhere here in thin air. So none of these are appropriate in this particular case. So what do we do? Let's just clear some space for a start. Well, there is a way of doing it and single-handedly as well. You don't need a, a mate to hold things. So this is what you do. Mark off the limits of the curve. Now, in my case, I know I wanted to start there and end there and have a bulge of about four inches or 100 millimetres. But I don't know where the centre is and I don't know that radius. So we put a clamp and a block of wood against one of those limits like that. And keep the clamp well out of the way. There we go. And the same on the other side like that. Good. Now, if I want a parabolic curve, that's dead easy. A nice, flexible steel rule. And that goes against both blocks. And I just push until I reach my bulge mark, which is there. And I can run a pencil round it. And you can see that it's straighter here and here, and it's a tighter curve here, just like a parabola. But for a circular arc, I've got to join two sticks together in a very particular position. So we put one stick against the block here and my bulge point, and the other stick against the other block and also crossing at the bulge point, like that. Keep the overlap to a minimum. There we go. And then we just need a couple of pins. Find your thumb. There we go. Then we trim it off. And then we make a tiny notch, just big enough for a pencil lead, right on that corner. And it's ready for use. Then we take our assembled sticks like that, and you can see that they cross at our bulge point, and we just nestle a pencil in that little notch. And keeping them pressed against the blocks, we just run it from one side to the other. And over on this side too. And that gives us a circular arc through the same three points. And then I can get my jigsaw out and what we end up with is that. So there you go, two easy ways to mark out a nice curve on a piece of wood 
when you don't know the radius or the center point. Dead easy. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. It matters. And until the next time, enjoy your workshop. Cheerio.